morning everybody, it's time for cooking and today's recipe is something very yummy and delicious using some very simple ingredients. So let's find out how to make bread and butter pudding. Mmm, delicious. Okay, this is a great recipe if you have some leftover sliced bread even if it's gone a little bit hard. So it's very useful for using up your bread if it's not so great anymore. Okay, you need some sliced bread. White is best for this one, but you can use brown if you prefer. You will need some milk. You will need some eggs. And you will also need some sugar and some raisins. Okay, for sultanas. This recipe, you will need to cut some triangles. Okay, you will cut your bread diagonally. That means from corner to corner. So that might be a new word for you to talk about at home today. Diagonally is corner to corner. Okay, so if you have a square from one corner to the other corner is diagonal. Oh, I wonder if you can find some squares in your house and show going diagonal. Can be diagonal on a rectangle too. But those are simple ways to think about the word diagonal. Wow, and if you cut your bread diagonally, you will end up with some triangles. So that's what we will be thinking about today in our recipe. Okay, first you need to butter your bread and cut it corner to corner, diagonally into triangles. Next, with your oven proof dish, you're going to lay your triangles in the bottom with the butter facing up. Then you can sprinkle some sugar and the raisins. Okay? Next, make more layers until the bread is all gone and the sugar and the raisins are all gone. So you should have bread and sugar and raisins, some more bread and sugar and raisins in layers like this. Next, crack your eggs, pour in the milk and whisk it. Pour it over the bread in the dish. Finally, bake it in the oven and enjoy it either very hot or cold. Now, what you will remember to do is once you've poured on your milk and your eggs, it's good to leave it a little while and let it soak in. So if you have time, let it soak in before you put it in the oven. Okay? Have a lovely time making your bread and butter pudding. It's a very traditional dish that my mummy used to make me when I was little and I'm sure you're going to love it. Super easy and super yummy. Have fun everyone! Bye!